Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen unmodded run, which I call the Flawless Run. Trying to win all missions, lose zero soldiers, uh, lose zero missions and uh, try to not get hit. Uh, today we're fighting against a lot of uh, humanoid uh, beings, but there's also the one sector port or maybe two sector ports in here and we got on top of that uh, the uh, warlock um, on this mission so it's going to be interesting i am wondering in terms of our team uh, let's use tail and rounds here uh, this is good enough for the sector port you know with so little enemies might as well Put some venom rounds in there and I think we're fine good that team is well enough balanced one mimic beacon should be plenty so let's jump into the mission and give it a go good time to land this should be a quicker mission just your typical mission or you're immediately starting right next to a couple of turrets need to get all the way there fair enough okay cool yeah let's go boys let's go Listen, the easiest way to deal with this is... Get rid of the turret with just a grenade. Um, okay, that's new. I stand corrected. That is not the easiest way. Typically, the turrets just go away. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep, that's a kill. Kill confirmed. All right. Strange, but whatever. I want to use all of my special abilities, so we're just trying to hit this Berserker to the best of our capabilities. This here should be a solid kill. Superior autoloader is great, good loot. Interesting, another turret. Yeah, I kind of wanted to give the Templar a little bit more focus, but didn't work out. So, where's the Chosen? Chosen does not come. That is yet again highly suspicious. We have no alien ruler. 11 enemies are most certainly not a difficult, very difficult mission. Moving as ordered. I am with you. We can explode that entire tri um, that entire train there. Exactly. 
Remove Sword off the cover. Kill the face, this one. up is the Templar now capable of finally attacking someone thank you that'll be full focus and parry very nice or rather parry nice That was the well-deserved punishment for a bad pun. Second turret down. Moving up. And Roro moves up. The turrets barely can make up for the difficulty. I don't believe that that is the case where completely running over these guys putting ourselves here in the middle which is a perfect position to not get spotted out up that might trigger yeah not a problem not a problem One down. They are both in level range. Okay, now we do have a problem. Let's hit the sector pot. Great hit. Should have just parried. They would have still come to me. Luckily, sectopods have really poor aim. Rev cannon, yeah. Okay, good. Which only leaves the stupid stun lancer.
Listen, that was not a particularly well executed uh, play from me. Push too far, although I would have known better. And it was on top of it unnecessary because there was no um, need to push that deep. Reload. I'm going. Moves to there. Come get some. Lyrical moves over. Not a surprise, these guys want to move up. Good old hidden faceless uh, one. Removes most of the cover. A Templar moves in. Stands there with Perry. We're moving up. Um, that and that. Fabulous. Hair trigger. There's not going to be a detonation, don't you worry. Okay, with the exception of that one push forward, which was unnecessary, the rest was played cleanly. It was an easy mission, but I almost threw it. Thankfully, sector pods really don't have a, a lot of aim, so if you only have one uh, target that they can hit, what they typically do is they like move up all the way into their face, remove all of the cover and then hit them. And that's kind of how they uh, how they operate. But if you do uh, give them quote unquote indestructible cover with aid protocol, then it's not a great chance for them to hit, which is why he uh, chose to use Wrath Cannon. There would have been still 
a 60% chance of deflect and then a 50% chance or a uh, 60% chance of reflect and then a 50% chance of deflect so it's not like the uh, mm, the Templar was highly at risk and then there was dodge behind it so it was more a question of are we getting, are going to get hit yes or no um, You know what? Might as well get supplies. Because we have all the uh, all the other resources at this point. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Good. Definitely need to go for <clears throat> an alien facility soon. Our research was a success, Commander. As Dr. Valen noted in her own There's the rage suit. And this Overdrive serum not necessarily super useful for us. I think we're going powered armor into sector port. I will begin our research Okay, we need to to do one of uh, the missions. Let's see what's what's our current armory looking like. Good, good, good. We should be fine. Might as well <coughs> hit two birds with one stone and get ourselves the Archon King, which is up here. It's not the prime team that is uh, ready, but half of the uh, of the A team is ready, and that's good enough for me. So what are we dealing with? Priest, shield bearer, another sector port, elite trooper, uh, codex. Okay. Good. So we want uh, the tech team here. We want uh, Templar. I'll wait the days. It's all okay. It's all good. Take another sniper. It's a bit of a wild mix of a team. The question is no there's actually not not any question really hmm <clears throat> although on the other hand hmm I mean we could do this not my preferred setup but certainly one that could work because we have bond level 3 here and that's just too good to not uh, take them with us. So Roro is going to take the frost bomb, which is exactly what we need. Wilson, on the other hand, um, what can we do with you? I think we need more Mimic Beacons, because uh, that's going to be our weakest spot. We definitely need another Mimic Beacon. Mm. 
In which case, Roro takes that. All right. Ah, wait, 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 wait. One mistake, two actually. Two small mistakes. Two small mistakes. Number one, as good as the katana is, Fusion X has a free attack that is helpful against uh, the Chosen. And the other one is really a matter of not being able to have the bolt caster with us. And that I cannot accept. So that specifically against alien rulers, that weapon is fantastic. We're going to lose out on the um, on the option here. The other option really is we're actually putting Wilson back in. No sniper. That means no uh, no lightning hands. Okay, but these here, these two here have, have dual shots. And dual shots are helpful against uh, the Archon King because they count as one attack, although two people are shooting. In position for deployment. Good. I think overall the better choice. Good. We're going to scout ahead. Let me block that ladder here. No sniper this time. So, just gotta work with what we have. BDM also has concealment, so we can actually move up. Okay, the Archon King is no joke. He will be a problem. I can already hear a sector pod somewhere. Let's trigger this pack. Screen rounds, yes, we do. Good, that solves that problem. I want to make sure that we're not going to accidentally run into something. I hear a sector put very, very loudly. Unfortunately, might be an easy kill, uh, an early kill. I want to get. I want to get uh, more focus, but sadly, we don't have any low damage weapons. This may or may not uh, give us focus. Does not, but this will. Good. 
Good, time to finish the Viper. Very easy pack for us. That turret is a perfect opportunity for a sniper. weapon As you order, Commander. This variation of the Good. There we are. Be the modified subject Dr. Valen has been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things escape from the lab. I would like to get the tower down. In absence of being able to do that, well, you know what? We could. What am I even saying? We could. Super heavy turret. Two, four, five. Uh, it's another hundred percent kill. That's not a 100% kill, and I would want to use the Sting for uh, the Archon King. So we're just going to let it uh, sit there and marinate. Fully reach this. This will trigger another pack. grenade over there and trigger the arc on that way Orders confirmed. On the move. good a protocol onto roll roll Just in case uh, the Archon uh, comes, I first want to remove the other packs. This should almost kill them. Still can hear the sector pod.
Hmm. Good. That's a hundred percent kill. That's a hundred percent kill as well. Not too shabby. And we're just going to get the turret down. We're cleaning the area so that we don't need to fight against the Archon King and a couple of others. Good, that triggers this pack. We're going to play careful here, one pack at a time. If the Archon King comes, uh, that's okay. Him staying there is totally fine for me as well. Now, still don't want to show us. and moves up to here, that's two. Removes all of the cover. I think we're breaking cover here. Conceal um, concealment. I think that's okay. Alright. Works well. That works very well. And... That'll give us full control, full focus, very nice. Double time. So there, reload for the banish next round. Will 
Wilson. Um, let's do this. That way we can come a little bit closer. One time advanced teamwork so that we're not wasting any actions. And we're double whammy pulling him. Careful, Saiken, there is still a sector pot. Is frozen. Time to unload. One, two, three, four. It's always a chance to. Anna, ah, no, we don't have the, the repeater. in Listen, I really want to get this guy down. But I don't want to trigger the sector port pack, which could be anywhere. Hence, uh, what we're going to do is reload Overwatch. Good. I need to know. If this here would trigger the sector port pack. Should have potentially amplified before the banish, that would have been a lot of damage. Finally. He's throat, but he is frozen again. Reaction, very nice. And I think this here is the most damage that we can deal. Oh, nice.
45 points of damage. He's throat and burning. Disoriented is good. I was hoping for stun. There is the blade storm. Down to one. Burning. There we go. Fabulous. Chain CC into uh, really just getting him down. Turn. Moving to position. A protocol. Get out. Get out. See you later, guys. Okay, we got what we came for, uh, which was uh, the Archon ruler, and we even killed it without any execution you can 100 to 0 it if you do have the right equipment one by one we're evening up the score commander good work out there commander on your order i can begin conducting an autopsy on the latest of Valen's test subjects we have an opportunity Good, everybody is super happy and we are good.
Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Overall, that was a tough month. I'm happy that it's over. Still need to do two of the Chosens. Okay, I overestimated how much she already had. We're going to cross out uh, the Hunter next. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, middle might matter. Good. With the new supplies, let's start building a couple of things. For starters, that. And the rage suit would be good. Thank you. Let's just do this first. GTS, I think we still had one more upgrade. There we go. And things are looking good. No negative traits. That is a good start. Good, we, we really don't need a lot. Can put this to here. And just in case anyone is ever injured. But generally speaking, we should uh, be fine. I mean, sure. You know what? That gives us enough power to upgrade the laboratory in a second once we're there. I think I've upgraded everything else. Strategic resource located. Setting course for sector We don't really need intel, but uh, for the network tower mission it might be good to have a little bit more. And who knows, maybe the black market reappears like Atlantis. Cool. We can now do two chosen missions. Scientist is good. This is fantastic. That is good as well. That is good as well. Okay, we... need that. Let's see. Um, Roro is tired two days. We're soon going to fight. So this here is just fantastic overall, which means I want it quick. Uh, how many days do we have? Wait, 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 wait. 16. Which means these uh, we need to get the breakthrough researchers first because they are faster these two get it down to six. Oh come on Good. Two more days and then we are infiltrating. I appreciate the new lab facilities. Come on. Laboratory facility upgraded.
Good. We're effectively now having 12 scientists, thanks to the continent bonus. And we will fight against the first uh, gatekeeper here. Archon, shield bearer, ooh, lots of difficult enemies, but that'll happen in the next episode. We're also almost done uh, with the prime team to get them ready. So secondary team of captains and lieutenants will take care of that mission and then we're going to go for the hunter and maybe even in this month also for uh, the warlock depending on uh, our roster health and so on and so forth um, so that would be a really really good uh, turn of events we would get all of the chosen weapons and and then the only uh, thing to control basically is the avatar project if we have that under control we should be fine um, rest looks good looks very good that's the end of today's episode guys have a great one and see you in the next episode take care bye bye